Hi guys, my name is Cassiana and I'm a member of the Data School DS33 cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I will show you how you can use advanced conditional formatting in Tableau. Please also know that you can find links and other materials which are relevant to this video in the description bar below. So let's go ahead and get started. So for the next couple of minutes, we will need to recreate the following table from over here. So this table shows profit, sales, and profit ratio for the following subcategories. First thing first, we're going to open a new sheet. Um, so for my example, I use the sample superstore data, but you can also use another financial data if you want. And to begin, we need to drag the subcategory dimension into the rows, just so we can have a clear overview of our subcategories. Then we need to create a calculated field called one. So I'm just going to click on here and I'm going to create a calculated field. And I'm just going to name this one one. And I'm going to click on apply. Uh, you can see here you can you can find this in the measure section after it has been created. So the next thing I want to do is I want to put the one into the column section. Uh, so I can just right click on the one and I'm going to put this into the columns and I'm going to pick to be an average. And I'm going to do the same. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to put it right next to the first one. Also an average. And the second thing we need to do is we need to click on the second average and click on dual axis. And now something else we need to do is we need to edit the first axis like this. And I'm going to remove the title. So I'm just going to put, I know that I'm going to put profit. So I'm just going to put profit here in this option. And I'm going to tick this option from over here. And for the thick marks, I'm just going to select none because I don't want any marks. And I'm going to do the same for the other one. So I'm going to right click on edit axis. Um, so here, again, the same thing here. I, we don't want the title, so I'm just going to delete this one. And I'm going to keep none for this. Perfect. Next, we need to drag profit over color. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag profit into the marks card. And you can see here we have a variety of colored bars. Um, so please know that the different color bars represent different profit measure values. So uh, in our case, negative values are highlighted in orange and positive values are highlighted in blue. Something else we can do uh, is we can drag profit into the labels. Um, and you can see here we have the values that so we can just go ahead and format this. I'm just going to click on here. And I'm going to change the alignment to be like this. And something else I want to do is I want to color with only two colors. So I just want to click and change the colors right now. And I'm going to go ahead and use the diverging palette. So I'm going to use the custom diverging palette from over here. Um, and I want to highlight um, this kind of red color as a negative value. And I want to highlight this blue color for positive values. And I'm going to take the stepped color and I'm going to remove five and I'm going to put two. Uh, so I only want two colors in here. So you can see here now we have the profit highlighted for negative and positive values. So we can go ahead and do the same for sales and profit ratio. Again, I'm going to drag and drop this into here and I'm going to put this one to be an average. And I'm going to dual axis this. So exactly like we did, we're going to go ahead and edit the axis. So in here, we're going to remove the title and we're going to put sales. And for the thick marks, again, we're going to choose none. And we're going to do the same for this other axis. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the title. And I'm going to put none into here. So if you remember from the previous slides, we had a circle instead of a bar graph uh, for the sales. So we're going to go ahead and do the same. I'm going to put a circle like this. And I'm going to do the same for this. Perfect. 
And now because we have cells, let's go ahead and color the cells. So I'm going to go to the second circle from over here and I'm going to drag and drop the cells into color and also into the label. As you can see here that they are not centered uh, yet, but something that we can do is we can just go ahead in the first average from over here and write plus one. And that will put them in the center like this. Uh, this is just a tip and trick. Uh, now you can just play around with the format. So if you want to increase the size of your uh, of the circles, uh, just like I did in the previous slides, you can just go ahead and play around with this. You can also change the color. So if you click on color, um, so in my previous slide, I picked the, the, the blue colors uh, from this palette. And, and also I put only three colors, so I'm just going to remove five and I'm going to apply three. And something else I did is I applied a border. So you can just go ahead and put the border if you want. And if you want to hide the circles from over here, uh, you can go back into here and you can decrease the size of the circles and they will just hide them for you if you want. So again, we're going to do the same for profit ratio. So we're going to drag and drop the same calculation, um, the same average into the columns. And we're going to do the same process for profit ratio. And I'm going to drag profit ratio into colors and also into the labels like this. And now again, we can choose the color. So I'm going to choose the same color palette that we use for profit. So I'm going to scroll down and use the custom diverging pal uh, palette that we have in here for only two colors. I'm just going to put this one to be in the center just so we can kind of see everything clear. Um, so you can just go ahead and play around with this uh, if you want. Uh, you can have another design. So um, this is just a recommendation. Um, so I'm going to remove the tooltip because as you can see, I have this average one into my tooltip, which I don't need. So I'm just going to remove them completely from here just so we can have a clear dashboard like this. And something else you can do if you want to analyze, you can just go ahead and play with the order date. So if you want this to show um, based on years, you can just go ahead and choose it um, as a filter like this. So this is it. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to check out new videos. We are still posting a lot of videos, um, a lot of useful content for you. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And I hope you find this really useful. Thank you.